are you? I haven't seen you guys in a while. I've missed you. I know you wish you could see me every day, but our relationship just isn't there yet. We'll keep growing, don't worry. And moving right along, because that was weird. My name is Tim Hendry. Today is Friday, September the 23rd, and, uh... Oh, one of my buttons is undone. There you go. That's better. So as I was saying, my name is Tim Hendry. It is Friday, September the 23rd, and, uh, now... I'm going to try to make you so wee bit smarter. And to start things off, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about what I've been doing. Because, you know, it's me and it's my video and I can do what I want. And you got to sit there and listen. Not really. Thank you for watching, though. So, I'm back in Wasega Beach right now. It was just a, a really crazy week. There was a lot of work and I just needed to get away for the weekend. So I am here. Last week was really exciting. It was actually my seventh month anniversary with my lovely girlfriend. And to celebrate, we went to see Cirque du Soleil and we saw Totem. It was amazing! They were like doing flips and twirls and all these crazy things. I know this sounds bad, but you were sitting on the edge of your seat just waiting for someone to slip or fall or do something wrong. Because the things that they were doing should not be possible for any human being. I've received a bunch of emails from people asking me about my investments, my mutual funds, and my stocks. They've been asking me why I haven't been talking about them. And the simple answer to that is, they're shit. I have lost so much money, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even look at them. They're there, I know it'll go back up, but I'm not about to watch it. Maybe I'll check in a couple months and hopefully they'll be back up, but right now it's just way too depressing. And in a little bit of news, something that you might enjoy, Dragon's Den, the new season is back on. It started a couple weeks ago, and it's really cool. We have the new dragon called Bruce Croxon. He's the founder of Lava Life, which is one of the largest online dating sites in the world. It's a really exciting season so far. It's been really interesting. The same bickering back and forth between Kevin and Arlene. I love that show. Speaking of shows, How I Met Your Mother started. It's amazing. How I Met Your Mother is one of my favorite shows ever along with Breaking Bad. I think Dexter's even starting soon. I found this really cool Dexter trivia game created by a company called Socialistic. I'll post the link down below. You guys gotta play it and see how smart you are. I did it. I got around, I think it was about 1700 and apparently I suck. Uh, I only missed like four questions. So you guys should check it out. And this entire video I'm going to dedicate towards Facebook. Because we all love Facebook. You're on Facebook at least once a day, multiple times a day. If you're anything like me, you're on there every second of every day. Which is kind of sad, because personal and face-to-face -face contact is so much more important than Facebook, but yet many of us neglect it. Yesterday at the FA conference, Mark Zuckerberg announced that there'd be a new Facebook layout in the world uproar. Wow, we have two columns now. Although it's kind of cool, I'm not really sure if I even like it, but inevitably you have to live with it. The cool part about it all is watching Mark Zuckerberg's expression. Watch the video. Look at his face. Feel the pride. He's worth something like 17 billion dollars and he's like in his 20s. And I wanted to share this with you guys. It's called the evolution of Facebook. None of the people watching this video will probably be able to remember, but back in 2005, this was the layout for Facebook. This is when Facebook was only available to select networks. The newsfeed didn't even exist. Users hopped between profiles just like this one. The next was in 2006, which is the introduction of the mini feed, which showed friend activity. In 2007, interaction became the theme. It was a huge year for profile design. That's when Facebook GIFs first started. In 2008, it was the app era. Users were able to add application tabs to their profiles, like bumper stickers. Facebook also introduced the publisher toolbar, which allowed users to publish a status update, photo, or link to their profile. 2009 was a year of pages, a new kind of look for the user profile. Users could now become a fan of their favorite pages. In 2010, it was a visual redesign. Facebook launched a new profile. Users were able to get creative with the new photo banner at the top of the page. Now compared to all the other redesigns, this one is by far the most significant. The other ones were just a little features here and there. This is basically a complete overhaul of Facebook. Instead of the one page and multiple pages, now we're going to the two columns with the one large picture at the top. Essentially that one large picture will remain constant just as your display picture now. Anyways, although there's a lot of other things happening in the news, this is the one that I wanted to talk about the most. Not because it's necessarily the most important, but it's probably one of the only headlines that affects all of us outside of the economic crisis that we're going through right now. Hey guys, and thank you for watching. That's everything I have to talk about today. I, I'm going to go out and try to enjoy this wet and rainy day. Not sure what I'm going to do. So I hope you guys are able to stay dry. It's supposed to be a wet one. Stay safe. Remember to do some good for this world, and uh, hopefully I will see you next week. Take care.